From January through December, the daily high and low temperatures in Beijing, China, are shown on this graph. The coldest months are January and December, with daily highs of about 2 degrees Celsius, about 35 degrees Fahrenheit, and lows of minus 8 degrees Celsius, about minus 17 degrees Fahrenheit. During July, the daily maximum temperature is 30 centigrade forward slash 86 Fahrenheit, while the daily low temperature is 21 centigrade. In general, December and January are the coldest months in Beijing, while July is the hottest month. The image shows a bar graph that accounts of households with access to the internet in the UK from 2006 to 2009, in percentages. In 2009, 70% of households in the UK had an internet connection. This was up from 58% in 2006, 61% in 2007 and 65% in 2008. It shows a steady growth of 12% in the period of three years. Overall, the highest is for the year 2009 and the lowest is for the year 2006. The picture shows different body parts of an insect. The body consists of three main parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. The head contains the insect's brain, eyes, and mouth. It also carries the antennae. The thorax is the central part of the body. It bears the legs and wings. There are three pairs of legs and two pairs of wings. The insect's abdomen contains its digestive and reproductive organs.
the graphic depicts data about the world's most widely spoken languages. If we look at the approximate number of native speakers in the year 2000, we can see that the biggest number of Madarin Chinese speakers, which is 874 million, is evident from the graph. The Bengali language has the fewest speakers, with roughly 200 million. It is obvious from the graph that English has the most native speakers among nations with considerable populations of speakers, with 104. The lowest number in any language is 9 in Bengali. Finally, this graph provides data about the languages of the world. This graph shows how much wine is sold in each state of Australia. Semillon, 41,000 cases, and Sparking, 18,000 cases, sold the most in the Australian Capital Territory, Act. Sales of Sparkling outstripped those of Riesling in New South Wales, 30,00, with Sparkling taking the lead, 10,000. Semillon, 30,000, and Riesling, 10,000, were the most popular wines in Queensland, 15,000. Semillon sold the most bottles, 40,00, in Victoria, while Riesling was the least popular variety, 14,000. Semillon was the most popular wine in the majority of states, while Riesling was the least popular wine in the majority of states. The number of persons living in poverty between 1970 and 1990 is depicted in this line graph. 38% of the world's population, 1.4 billion people, were living below the poverty line in 1970, earning less than $1 a day. Nearly two-thirds of the world's population, 1.4 billion out of 5.3 billion, was living below the poverty line and earning less than $1 a day in 1990. Despite the fact that the number of people living below the poverty level has remained the same, the proportion of people worldwide living below the poverty line has declined during the last several decades. In 1970 and 1990, 1 1.4 billion people were living below the poverty level.
There are four categories of media advertising that are compared in terms of cost, which is assessed in US dollars. At $257 in 2030, internet advertising is estimated to be the highest, while TV advertising is predicted to be at around $55. As a whole, the cost of all media is expected to fluctuate greatly in the future, with the internet costing the most and TV the least. This map shows the Garyab Basin's municipalities and precipitation. The northeast region of Garyab Basin had 50 to 100% more municipalities than the rest of the basin, as can be seen on the map to the left. When it came to towns, 0% to 50% of municipalities were found in the southwest area. The Garyab Basin's annual precipitation averaged just minus 0.75 in the north and east, as can be seen in the map to the right. In wide parts of the west and north, it fell to minus 3.00. This section of the Garyup Basin has more municipalities, but the average rainfall remained low. The complex picture shows the total amount of water present on Earth. While 97.5% of water is salty, only 2.5% water is fresh water and thus potable. The image further mentions the sources of fresh water which measures to 35 million cubic kilometer glaciers and permanent snow form 68.7%, groundwater 30%, and ground ice and permafrost 0.86% of total fresh water. Again. The portion of ground ice and permafrost has been divided into lakes which are 26%, soil 0.5%, atmosphere 0.04%, wetlands 0.03%, rivers 0.006%, and finally plants and animals that are 0.003%. Overall, we can say that usable water is way too less in quantity and the sources are very limited.
the carbon dioxide cycle is demonstrated here. Plants release organic carbon as a result of photosynthesis, which is facilitated by sunlight. Underneath the surface, organic carbon from plants decays. Aside from fossils and fossil fuels, there are other fossils and waste products in the earth. The procedure then demonstrates how animal and plant respiration contributes to atmospheric carbon dioxide levels. The whole CO2 cycle, from photosynthesis to respiration, may be seen in this process. The graph depicts data from the start of a quiz flow chart. Slide 1 click to start quiz is the first stage, as shown in the diagram. Slide 2 question 1 is the next stage. The following step is known as click true. Slide 4 is incorrect, click to go to the next question. Slide 5 question 2 is the next phase. The following step is called click false and it's what you'll want to do. Slide 3 is right, and the next step is to click to go to the next question. The graph, in conclusion, is quite helpful. This procedure explains how to add a Wikipedia article. To begin, look up the word on Wikipedia. If you can't find the term you're looking for, you go back to the beginning and try again. If you can't find the term you're looking for, you'll have to look for a comparable term. You establish a redirect if there is a similar word. You can start a new article if there isn't a redirect. As a whole, there are a number of steps that must be taken before a Wikipedia page may be created.
In the winter and summer, the line graph depicts the power usage in England on a typical day. In England, the demand for power in the winter is substantially higher than in the summer. In the winter, power demand is approximately 35,000 units per day, whereas in the summer, it is around 18,000 units per day. The demand for power changes throughout the day, and the demand between 6 and 9 a.m. is lower than the demand at other times. During the winter, demand is highest between 21 o'clock and 23 o'clock hours, while during the summer, demand is highest between 13 o'clock and 14 o'clock hours. A bomb calorimeter is depicted in this illustration, which shows the many sections of the device. In order to protect the sample, the bomb cell has been immersed in water. Fusible cables link the bomb cell's two electrodes to the ignition box. A stirrer motor drives a submerged stirrer in the water. It's 23 degrees inside the water, according to a thermometer attached to a temperature meter. A bomb calorimeter is made up of a slew of distinct parts. Answer, 5 points the main hall is seen on this graph. A kitchen may be clearly seen on the left, as seen in the graph. Looking at the graph, it's obvious that an office can be seen in the middle. The graph clearly shows that when we glance to the right, we can see the male and female restrooms, as well as the disabled. The kitchen is smaller than the office. The PDO index was used to evaluate Pacific climatic fluctuation between May and September of 1930 and 2010. 
From 1930 to 1940, the PDA reached a high of 13, indicating a warm regime. From 1950 to 1970, the PDO index fell to a low of minus 10, indicating a change to a cooler regime. Returned to a warmer regime between 1980 and 1990, with PDO climbing to 13. Overall, the PDO shifts between warm and cold regimes over time. Graham Land is highlighted on this map of Antarctica, with a red box placed over the region. Next to the Weddell Sea, the Graham Land Peninsula is located. It is near the Ron Ice Shelf, sandwiched between the South Orkney Islands and the Amundsen Sea. The map depicts a variety of areas in Antarctica, with Graham Land standing out. This timeline depicts the world's population from 1650 to 2000. There were 550 million people on the planet in 1650. In 1850, there were 1,175,000,000 people, and in 1950, there were 2,556,000,000 people. The global population peaked in the year 2000 at 6,080,000,000 people. Between 1650 and 2000, the world's population grew significantly. The floor layout on the map is as is, however the planned adjustments are shown on the map. To make room for a larger stairwell in the center of the floor plan, two inside doors, the storage beneath the stairwell, and a wall were removed. 
There are also plans to remove kitchen furnishings and add two internal doors from the front entry that go into the kitchen. Stairs and the kitchen are among the most significant areas to be remodeled. A basic yet multicolor bar graph depicts how college fees are paid by students or learners, which is interesting information. Specifically, the graph reveals that grants and scholarships are the primary sources of funding, accounting for 31% of the total, followed by parents' income and savings, which account for 30%. Student debts, as well as student income and savings, are reported at 15% and 12%, respectively. The tiniest portion comes from family and friends. Overall, it can be stated that when it comes to paying for college, there are several options.